Hi, I'm Dr. Wohler. Let's talk about something called Helicobacter pylori in autism, or H. pylori. H. pylori is a bacteria that has been responsible for the development of stomach ulcers. Now, we typically wouldn't think of kids having problems with H. pylori um, or even ulcers, but it does happen. We know that kids on the autism spectrum seem to have a lot of gut problems. They have a lot of bacterial imbalances. They have a lot of yeast problems. Many of them just have digestive problems in general. And so they seem to be, have a greater susceptibility to these types of infections, or at least they have a greater susceptibility to having behavioral problems associated with these infections, whether it's self-stimulatory behavior that's driven by yeast or aggressive behavior that's, that's you know, exacerbated by the presence of Clostridia bacteria. Helicobacter pylori is also found in kids on the spectrum. And what it typically tends to do is it tends to aggravate the stomach, um, alters stomach acid production, which can affect you know, uh, digestive enzyme function in the small intestine, and it leads to poor digestion, malabsorption, etc. Helicobacter pylori can also be a trigger for food allergies or food sensitivities. Um, it also can lead to, to stomach pain. It can lead to reflux, um, gastritis, uh, and just overall discomfort um, in the upper intestinal area, particularly after eating. A lot of kids will actually avoid meat because it's just hard to digest. And we see that a lot in adults too. They just don't have a a desire to eat meat, and that can be in, uh, uh, an indicator that Helicobacter pylori may be a problem. So I want you to think about Helicobacter pylori as another type of infection that may be affecting your child's digestive system um, and affecting the way they digest food. And I'll, in the next video, I'll actually talk about specific tests that can be done to help detect for the presence of Helicobacter pylori. Thanks.